uh, higher root. In this video, we will see about a uh, pi spark with column function. So this pi spark, uh, this with column function is mainly used to transform the data, data frame. So either you can uh, ch change the existing value of data frame or add a new column to data frame or drop a column to data frame or make a column as null. All those things you can do. Let's see example for each of these things in this uh, video. Uh, the first one, I have created a sample data frame here on my data. Uh, I have put some sample data here. Then I define the columns for the data. The column is first name, last name, date of joining, department and salary. And for this data, for this columns, I have defined data in the bow. Some sample data put over, put over here. Next, I have created a data frame using uh, spark.create data frame and passing data and schema to that. When you display this one, you will find data frame output as like this. First name, uh, last name, date of joining, department and salary. If you see the data frame, uh, the uh, data type of this uh, data type of this uh, data frame, the first name is of string and uh, last name of string, and date of joining of string and department of string and salary is of long. So I have created a data frame name, uh, data frame now and we want to see the example for uh, uh, example with with column function for like uh, to change the value or to add a new column all those things well, first thing is what we do is we gonna change the existing column so in my data frame i have a column called salary i'm going to change the salary for this one uh, into new value by multiplying this value by 10. so in order to use this fu function you have to import this function first so for that i have used from pyspark sq.function.import star so this is going to import all the functions uh, defined under this PySpark SQL. So this with column has this column function. All those things for this call function, you need to import these things. So this is kind of mandatory. Uh, once you import this one, then only you can execute this uh, this particular function. So in this one, I'm going to use with column function. I'm going to change the existing salary with a new value. So this is called uh, call call of salary into ten. When you execute this one. You will find the output as 50,000 now because it was 5,000. Now we will change to 50,000 here. The next one is uh, next example you can see here is a new column. So I have column here uh, first name, last name. So in this example, I will create a new new column with name as full name by concatenating the first name and the last name here. So you can run this one. You find the output as first name, last name, full name at the last. So you could see that this John Henry name are concatenated in the last, uh, last column. You could see the full name, it's changed. You have the data, data type also, it's a string now. This is first, uh, this one is mainly to add new existing column. The next one is to change a new column. The next example, in case if you want to pop a null to a column. For example, I'm going to add a new column called location and I'm going to null, null to that uh, particular value, particular uh, 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 column. So if you see this example here, I'm creating a uh, using function with column and I'm creating a new column name called location. I'm passing a value null, none here. If you run this one, we'll find the output as Georgia, everything is null here. And if you see the data type for this null location, it is null here because null has no data type, right? So that's reason we got null here. Uh, but actually, you need a in the data frame. Actually, you need a, um, a data type for each of the columns, right? So if you want to provide a data type for a column, what you can do is uh, uh, I have given the next uh, uh, next uh, example. So in this case, the same example, I have used column new column location, and I populate null value here. And assigning a, a data type for that and casting of string. So this will be cast to a string type now. If you run this one, we'll find location here as string because I'm casting that to a string now. What is looking a string here? The value is going to be null here. But in the previous example, if you don't cast a string, location is still shown as a null null as a data type. This is not right. So then here uh, we're gonna change it to give proper data type here. Next one is in the next example. If you want to rename a column to a different name, for example, in my in my uh, data frame I have data of join DOJ. I want to change that to data of joining. You can use this with column renamed. 
this is going to re rename the uh, data frame so you see example data now with the previously it was doj now to change data of joining here uh, similarly if you want to drop a column you can use this drop uh, function uh, df dot drop of last name df dot drop last name this is going to draw a particular column from the data frame in this one we will find last name is dropped from this uh, data frame this is a few examples which uh, with help of with columns function similarly we can do a number of uh, activities uh, with this uh, with column function I would, I would demonstrate a few of the examples here still many more we can do with this function that's all pretty much for this video thanks for watching